Hello, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Upkeep video series, where we provide you with the tools and resources to help your maintenance and reliability teams succeed. In this episode, we're tackling a crucial topic that impacts us all, waste management. We'll discuss three main methods, recycling, landfill, and incineration, and explore their pros and cons. By the end of this video, you'll get a comprehensive understanding of these methods and how you can make the most environmentally friendly choice for your waste disposal. So, stay tuned as we dive into these fascinating yet critical aspects of our everyday lives. Today, we're diving into a hot topic, recycling, landfill, or incineration. Which is the best method for waste disposal? Recycling is often hailed as the most environmentally friendly option, but it's not always feasible. When recycling isn't an option, the choice between using a landfill or incineration depends on the kind of waste involved. But remember, in addition to effective waste disposal, it's crucial to reduce waste production, and this can be achieved through effective maintenance management. Let's start by looking at the advantages of recycling. Typically, recycling results in less industrial waste, which means fewer resources are spent producing new items. The impact of recycling is significant. For instance, in the year 2017, recycling in the United States reduced carbon emissions by over 184 million metric tons. However, recycling isn't always possible, especially with the decreasing demand for recyclable materials in recent years. Moreover, about 25% of all items sent to recycling organizations aren't recyclable due to contaminants. Next, let's talk about landfills. A large proportion of our garbage goes into landfills, though not as much as in previous years. From 1980 to 2009, the amount of solid waste that found its way into landfills decreased from 89% to 54%. This decrease has a positive impact on the environment, as fluids and gases, including methane, leaking out of landfills can affect soil, water, and air quality in the area. However, numerous regulations and methods are used to prevent this from happening, and using a landfill is often the only option available. Now, let's discuss incineration. Incineration can be used to dispose of trash, but only in certain circumstances and when it's handled properly. Incinerating trash produces carbon, and burning plastic can result in highly toxic fumes. But when done safely, incineration can be used to produce energy, making it a potentially effective use of solid waste. So, which is truly the best? To sum up, recycling is best for the environment, but it's not always possible. Landfills are often the only option for certain types of waste. Incineration can be used for power, but only when done safely. Ultimately, the best option comes down to the type of waste you produce and the options available in your area. Here's a tip. Take some time to figure out what types of waste you produce and assess your options. Then, make a plan. This will help you manage your waste effectively and contribute to a cleaner, greener environment. Thank you for watching this episode. We've discussed the pros and cons of recycling, landfill, and incineration, and how the best waste management method depends on the type of waste and the options in your area. If you found this information useful, please subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For additional resources, visit our website at upkeep.com. Until next time, Keep striving for a cleaner, greener environment.